Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, to the world away. We now got issue 112 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Okay, this issue precedes itself the reputation. There's more wires to go through. Uh, let's just show you what we got to do here. Uh, this is all the parts here. As you can see, I've laid them all out here. This is going to be the pain in the neck one here. As you can see, the first thing he wants us to do is separate these wires out into the colours that are shown there and then clamp them together ready to go on this bit, which we've been working on in the last issues there. So I'm just going to put that to one side because we don't need that yet because I'm sure that's going to take ages and I'm sure I'm going to have to edit that so you can see what it looks like afterwards because A, I'm colour blind, uh, B, my eyesight ain't the best uh, and C, those things are tiny. So we'll have to see how that goes. Uh, anyway, so we're going to be putting these on the uh, reactor platform there. Uh, and it's just a lot of pipes and details going on the reactor platform. So at the end of it, it's going to look just like that. So theoretically, this shouldn't take too long. But you just know that wire is going to, you know, make this video about 10 hours long. Uh, in the next thing, we've actually got the re reactor base there. And this lights up. So as you can see, we've got an LED in there as well. And we've got an optic fiber, which is going to go round here. I believe that's going to be orange. Um, I might have to do a mod for that. We'll have to see how that looks when that comes around. But that's going to be in part 113, which is going to be out next Monday. So... Uh, uh, let's get cracking on it. Okay, so step one, we've got this coloured wire here. And basically, at this end here, they're going to want us to sort of untwist it. So all the wires are showing. Just like that. And then once we've got that, we're going to try and slot these in, in the colours that you can see in this picture here. So it's going to be going uh, yellow, red, like a bluey colour, or green. I'm colour blind, this is terrible. I'll put them in the order that I think it's in. And uh, we'll show you what that looks like. But obviously these are just going to be sitting in here. Just like that. And then once we've got them where they go. Obviously that's completely in the wrong order. To what it needs to be. Uh, we're going to be putting this piece on top. Now there is. If you look on the piece below. Just show you that. There's some little pegs on there. So when you put the top piece on here. It's just going to clamp into place. So I'm going to get that done now. And I apologise that I am going to do this off camera. Because for me. This is going to be a nightmare. Okay, if you see that, look at that. I've laid these out exactly as it's meant to look. So, I've got them all in, I believe, where I need to do. I'm going to put this bit over the top quickly to clamp them into place. There we go, look. That's all in. Oh my God. So what you can do is you can put this, you can actually just make it a bit straighter like that when you've got them all in and tidy those wires up. I'm actually going to tidy that up when it's in the actual reactor unit. Which is the next thing we're going to do. So we bring this over here. And this piece here, you see you've got two holes here and here. With the uh, bumpy side up, just like that. It's going to go into the two holes that you can see just there and there. And the good thing about this is, it's going to be screwed in from the top. So I'm just going to put that in where it's sort of going to go. Uh, and it's going to be screwed in from the top using SM screws. And that's two SM screws. Uh, someone did point out in the last video... I was wondering why we didn't use AP screws. Uh, that this side here, I believe, is meant to have been an AP screw. But as you can see, it didn't make the blindest bit of difference. So <laughs> I um, I use the other screws for that. So Okay, let's get the uh, first screw in here. And I'll try and do this on camera so you can see. So there we go. We've got one side in. Let's just put the other one in there. Okay, and here's the last one going in. And as you can see, they're all straight to where they need them. And if I need to twist these again just to make it a little bit more uh, tidy... I can do that. So that's what I'm going to do now. Just so it looks like that. And it's nice and tidy. Looking just like that. Okay, so that was that really hard stage done. Uh, so step four, we're going to be uh, taking this part here, which is the pipe section. And this is going to be going into the end hole just here on the unit. So basically, this is going to be going in with this part going over the red there. And then the top part here going into this hole just here so we plot that in and this doesn't need to be glued it should sit perfectly on there so then that just sits in like that looking pretty good uh, once we've done that we're going to be put it attaching this bit here uh, onto this unit here like this uh, this is going to be going on this way round so the wire that we've got coming from this unit here is going to be folded over this side of the unit here so uh, that's going to be going on the top there. Uh, I'm just checking we've got some plugs. We haven't even got any plugs, but these are going to be going into these holes here. They're going to be held in with uh, AP screws. It's your old faithful AP screw. So let's get them in as well. Okay, and this one. Once you've got that wire in, it's going to be quite easy, I reckon. But 
I think the bit you might struggle a little bit with, let me just get this screw in, it's hard to talk and screw at the same time, is uh, gauging what sort of length wire you need coming from this into that. Now I can push this forward and back if I need a bit more flex on this side here, uh, but I'm gonna get this just attached. And then we'll look at that later on. I'm thinking that I've got that pretty bang on the way I've done it there, but we will see. This is the second one, second AP going in, and that's what that looks like, just like that. Now, as I said, it might need a little bit more, but you can muck around with that afterwards exactly as you uh, feel fit. Uh, they have kept quite a lot of slack going around this section here, so it's worth uh, noting that. But yeah, looks pretty cool. I like that. Okay, so next stage, we've got uh, another bit in, which is this silver part here. Um, they're, they're only calling them parts like 1112A, so I can't exactly describe what they are. Uh, but this part looks exactly symmetrical. Just looking around, that doesn't really matter what uh, place this goes in. But this, as you can see, is just gonna go underneath this black bit we put in with the wires, and it's gonna just sit just there, like that. Simple, huh? Uh, and that's gonna be held in again with an AP screw from the other side. So we're gonna be turning this thing over now. What I'm gonna do is just take all the AP screws out, because I'm guessing in this one, we're gonna be using the whole lot. Turn it over, and then we're gonna screw this in to the hole here, and that will keep that in place. Nice and tight, and there we go. That's what that piece looks like. Make sure it's straight, that's perfect. Okay, so that was step six and six B. Uh, stick, <laughs> stick, step seven A, we've got these two silver parts here, and if you have a look at these, they've got little like tabs on the bottom of them, so these are only gonna be able to go in one way. Now these go in these sections here and here. As you can see, you've got a little hole just on the other side where the tab's gonna fit in. Uh, when we put these in, they're gonna be held in once again with AP screws, so I'm gonna put one in first, show you how it looks so it's going to sort of like fit in there we're going to attach that with ap screws and we're going to be doing the same the other side so let's do that now holding it tightly with my hand and then we get this screwed in excellent that's the first one in and we do the same with the second one these details do really kick it off but uh they are fiddly. And you know what? I really thought we'd come to the end of all the fiddly stuff in this build. Um, if I've learned anything about this model, I don't think this model is suited for the beginner because <laughs> it is fiddly. Uh, there we go. And that's what that looks like with those two pieces in there. Uh, okay, next piece, we've got a pipe, which is this lovely looking thing here. Look at that. That looks excellent. Uh, the pipe is going to go just behind these. As you can see, we've got a hole just here and it's got like a keyhole look on it. Uh, and obviously that's gonna fit in the uh, like keyhole bit that we've got there. So when we put this in, it's gonna go in just like this with this black pipe to the right hand side of it. I don't know if they tell us that, but it, uh, it suits it a lot better. And then that's when, once that sits in perfect like that, it's gonna be attached on the other side with a BP screw. So let's get the BP screws out. I'll put in this screw in slowly just so I can keep it in place. And then once I've lined it up, exactly where I want it, I will screw it in tight, which I'm gonna do now. Obviously you know it's in because it won't wobble. <laughs> it's gonna be perfectly in just like that. So that's that piece done. That was steps uh, 8A and 8B. Uh, now step nine, we've got another black plastic piece, which looks like this, which is gonna go over exactly like this one did here, but this is gonna be going over this section just here. So exactly the same way, we put the uh, top tab in the top hole there, put that in, and then push down. So that looks just like that. Looking pretty detailed now, isn't it? Now we can put that to one side because what we need now is just this square piece and this lovely sort of like pipe, corrugated pipe bit looking like that. Uh, and this is basically gonna be going, uh, as you can see, we've got a hole in this section just here. Uh, the little tab that we've got there is gonna go in the hole, just like that. And that keeps that all in one place, sort of like that. And then what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting a top on this, which is gonna be 10B, and this is what the top looks like here. And the top's gonna to hold everything into place. It doesn't matter what way round you put this uh, this top piece in, but as once it's clamped in, as you can see, this pipe is able to move around, uh, but it's not coming out of there. 
So that looks just like that. Once we've got that, we don't have to attach anything together because we're going to start attaching this to this unit here. And it's going to be going in this section just here with the pipe coming out from the south side of it. So when we put it in, it's going to be fitting in just like that. And then once we've screwed this down, the pipe section is going to be going just in the hole that has actually just sat itself in there, just in there like that. Now we need to attach this down and to do that we're going to be doing a BP screw again. And as you can see, I haven't got any more bits. So, I'm just going to screw this in, in the hole there. Apart from that first bit, that was quite an easy issue. I was panicking about nothing. Looking just like that. So there we go, that's the finished issue 112. That's what we've done. You guys really put the fear of God into me, I'm telling you. You told me that was going to be really hard. And it wasn't. And I only had one cut at the start. And believe me, that didn't take long at all. So, <laughs> issue 113 will be coming out on Monday. Looks just like that. Um, once this bit's in the car, there's not going to be much to do, is there, really? We're going to have the big vents coming out. But for the life of me, I can't see how that's going to drag on for 18 more issues. Bit weird. But something I am going to be doing later on in the week is we're going to be talking about this. This is the decal set free from Mike Lane and uh, I'll put all the details for Mike Lane's uh, website down there. We're gonna look at these and we're gonna start putting these on the vehicle. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you'll see that I've done these in the past for the decal sets and the carpets and uh, they look really good. So uh, head on over to Mike Lane's site so you can see that. Uh, other than that, what else is going on? Well, Tuesday night, I'm gonna be doing the Bismarck part two. This one here, it's not out in shops yet. I got it early. Don't ask. <laughs> uh, and then on uh, Friday or Saturday, we're going to be doing the next Arduino video. Then next week, God, there's going to be loads of videos because we've got the Terminator, we've got the Bismarck, we've got the DeLorean, we've got the Arduino, and anything else that decides to release in the meantime. Anyway, look, I hope you like that video. If you want to discuss this build, I'll leave the link to the forum at the end as well. Other than that, take care.